The Nintendo Wii was a revolutionary gaming console that was massively popular because of the new way of playing games with motion control. Despite being one of the most popular gaming consoles, there was one downside. No Minecraft! Now this has all changed thanks to a developer named Bitbyte Extreme 8000. On November 12th, 2022, they released a video showcase of the homebrew game called Cavax, a Minecraft remake for the Wii. And in this video, I will show you two different methods of getting this game for yourself on your homebrewed Wii. This will include with internet connection and without. So let's get started. The first method, being the easiest, is to use the homebrew browser. So if you already have this app on your Wii and you have an internet connection, head into your homebrew browser app, go to the game sections, and there you should see Cavax right at the top. Your favorite block game on the Nintendo Wii. Select it, and then press download. Once it's completed, you can exit back to the homebrew channel and check out the new game. And now for the method without internet, we're going to take our SD card out and plug it into our PC. Head over to the first link in the description, which should take you to the Open Shop channel on PC. So when you're here, just scroll down where it says cavax.zip, download file, and it'll download a zip file in the bottom left of your screen. And then when it's downloaded, open up your SD card that you use to mod your Wii. Here's what mine looks like. Let's just snap those and open up the zip file for cavax. Grab the apps folder and drag it onto the root of your SD card. Now because I downloaded it on the homebrew browser as well, I'm just going to replace the files just to show you that uh, it's the same stuff. And when it's transferred on, you should be able to go into your apps folder and see Cavex with these files. Now this is a good time to tell you that this version, the updated version of Cavex, allows you to generate your own world on your PC in a beta version of Minecraft and place it into your saves file where you can play it on your Wii. Just make sure you have items that you want to use in your hotbar as you can't add any once you hop onto the Wii. As you can see, the world folder right here, you can throw your own one in there. But once you have the app onto your SD card, you can plug it into your Wii and let's play some Minecraft. Here we go. Again, works with Wiimote plus the nunchuck, that's what I'll be using, or a GameCube controller if you have one. We can select our world. We'll just do, let's do the Temple of Notch. Let's see what that's like. So it looks just like regular Minecraft, which is actually really cool to have on the Wii when it wasn't actually released. And here we go. So it's kind of hard to, <laughs> to maneuver. So the joystick moves your camera around and the D-pad on the Wii remote moves you like so. <laughs> Up, down, oh, it's kind of hard. But there we go, we're in the Temple of Notch. And at the top of the screen, it says 60 FPS, well, 59, which is actually really good. And if we go all the way up here, it loads a fair bit. Well, oh, and it's gone. <laughs> That's pretty good for the Wii. It's pretty underpowered compared to other uh, consoles, which, you know, Nintendo decided to release it on the Wii U. The Wii U is a little bit more powerful. But this is pretty cool. You can only... It says A to go into inventory, but if you press it, it just brings you down. So I don't think there is an actual inventory yet. And the only way you can use items is um, if it's already in the hotbar. Z, you can uh, fight, so this would be really cool if you could play multiplayer. But I don't, I'm not sure if that'll ever happen. Even my sword just demolishes stuff. It is only creative mode, so... Um, that's all there is for options, so you can't do like a survival or anything. Like I was gonna say, it'd be pretty funny to do a let's play on uh, Minecraft Wii. <laughs> now the videos I've seen reviewing this, they had Minecraft music in, but there is actually no music. So those people actually added the music in while editing. So that's also something I expected, but it didn't happen. But if you press the home button, you can go back to select a world and we can switch. So let's try uh, Priapat Stalker. As you can see, there is actually day and night cycles, which is really cool. And if you want to see all of the features, I will link the showcase that the creator made on his channel. And he talks about it there in the video. You can see what it all has to offer. 
but it's really cool to be playing Minecraft on the Wii and it's super easy to set up so hopefully you're able to and wow what is this over here very cool if you use plus and minus you can go through the hot bar here you can't eat the apple unfortunately and it is dark and let's see if we can place a torch if you press C <laughs> there we go you can place a torch and make it light so this has a lot of potential but again if you have the Wii U you can play actual Minecraft on that console so this is really only if you have a uh, Wii and you have an urge to play Minecraft so it's pretty cool <laughs> great job to the developer uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comments and let me know if you played it tried it out what you think and uh, I'll see you in the next video bye